I wanted to visit Burma not necessarily because of the Jews. The Jews were a kind of a byproduct. I wanted to visit the temple city of Bagan. Uh, I went to see the synagogue, and from the synagogue I could get a better picture of what the Jewish community is like today and what it used to be. And we are talking about uh, a Jewish community that survived in Burma for more than 150 years, and unfortunately out of about 3,000 people, only about 20 left. You went to a central synagogue in Rangoon itself, and you, you met a man who looks after it. Yes, it was the caretaker who used to be the son of the previous taker, who was looking after the synagogue during the Japanese occupation of Burma between 1941 and 1944. In fact, this is something which I did not even say at, at my talk. Um, most of the quarters in downtown Rangoon were burnt by the Japanese shelling because many of the houses were made of wood and only the synagogue in this specific vicinity survived the shelling. And this guy, his name is Moses Samuel, is just sitting outside the synagogue in the sunshine with his, the tra with his traditional Burmese uh, sarong waiting for Jewish visitors to come. And he does it every day, every day, waiting for them to come and hoping maybe that one day maybe he will have 10 people to have a service with. And he does it in a way that impresses me because he's also looking after the synagogue, which is really in immaculate condition. Just, uh, what's the actual origin of Burmese Jews? Is there an Iraq connection? It's a mixed bag. In fact, as I said before, uh, the first Jew to arrive to Burma was uh, the chief of staff of one of the early kings of Burma in the 18th century. But he originated in India. He belonged to a sect called Bnei Israel, the Sons of Israel. Yes, but the bulk of the community originated in Baghdad. The Baghdadi Jews were very adventurous, so many of them ended up eventually in Burma. It was a kind of uh, a byproduct of their businesses in India discovered a very personal and um, historical angle, didn't you? When you went well, I did not expect that uh, my, my uh, trip would have this kind of twist because I did not realize that uh, in this very dilapidated cemetery I will find uh, the graves of two of my uh, ancestors, although I knew nothing about them. I knew nothing even about the history of my family in Burma. I knew that some of them ended up in Calcutta. I did not know that, that a few of them moved on to settle in uh, Burma. So as I was walking around the, the cemetery, and it was very, very easy to identify um, the writing on the tombstones because the cemetery is very neglected, very overgrown, and quite broken following the last uh, storm. I was lucky enough to have my family's uh, graves located on uh, both sides of the footpath. So they were on the edge, and because of that I could identify the name Sadka. Um, obviously, this year marks 50 years since um, a military junta took over in Burma with Aung San Suu Kyi um, coming into Parliament today, actually. Um, what do you think of this new political spring? What future does that hold for the Jewish people? I find that in Burma nobody trusts the generals. I myself don't trust them. And they are allowing a certain kind of freedom and democracy on very limited portions in order to impress the Western world that they are serious about democracy. So sanctions against them, 50 years old sanctions would be lifted because all they want is to uh, improve uh, the economic situation of, of Burma.